Yeah, hello folks. I think the time is around 12.30, so it's just past noon. And uh, yeah, I can move a bit back. This is how high the sun gets <laughs> at its peak height. <laughs> Snow is almost gone. We had three days with uh, yeah, four, five, six degrees of heat. And uh, oh, not heat, but uh, plus and half a meter of snow has gone in just three days. And here's the sorry sight of my my greenhouse. Yeah. <laughs> the small chickadees always happy. But today I'm going to try to cut some half dovetail knots. I'm going to practice because a surprise is coming up. That's a nice piece of timber for the lock cabin. And the notches I'm going to make is uh, is going to be well, they're going to be ten centimeters wide, and this one is exactly five. So when I have the center line, I could just do like this. And 
and this bit here and this bit here is going to be cut away all the way up. And that is uh, my half lock. Bismillah. <laughs> mip mip.
I'm really looking forward to see how this fits how far off I am it's my first ever half dovetail knot and I need to practice because when I get the uh, the big timber I don't want to mess up uh, it will be waste and I would rather build with the big logs that then uh, turn them into firewood yeah it's not perfect for the first one and I probably could fix it a bit more but now I want to see how it goes Maybe I should move this a bit closer. <laughs> That's not bad at all, considering I can. Uh, smooth out the surfaces a bit more that is really nice Hello folks, <coughs> a little funny story, the last two nights what I have seen, uh, maybe it's been here earlier or and maybe it will come back tonight, I don't know, but between 7.30 and 9 o'clock at night there's a wild boar coming here and uh, I've put up some uh, green light with sensors on and I'm gonna put some wood char or char on this old tree here and some uh, smelly stuff that pigs like and I've I bought or oh, yeah I bought some uh, apples that I'm gonna cut up and throw around here and over there uh, I got green light in the uh, the old apple tree as well and I'm gonna go to town yeah in about an hour or so uh, and buy some corn and spread around and maybe the the pig will come back and uh, I got my rifle out so uh, I'm ready for tonight <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can get a wild boar, fill the freezer. <laughs> it's so thick because it's cold. But the pigs likes to rub against the trees with tar. So uh, 
maybe just the smell will lure them in. Or others maybe. I think it's a young male, a couple of years old because he's alone. <laughs> this is so thick, you won't believe it. But just the smell. Just a little bit. And some of the smelly stuff on the ground. Can't remember what it smells like. I know, I can't remember. Maybe it's knots. Yeah, I'm not sure. Apple or knots or something. But I'll drip a bit out here. Just a little bit. And maybe some here. Can run down the tree. And about the, uh, the green light, I got sensors on and uh, I think they'll be on for about 60 seconds or 45 seconds. And you use green light because uh, the wildlife most of the time, I think 90% of the time, doesn't react on the green light. But this pig, even if I turn the garden lights on and off, he, he's still here. <laughs> Amazing. He was nearly on my porch last night. I think five meters, six meters from the steps. And if he doesn't mind the light, I could might as well put some apples out here and keep the light on. Yeah, I just uh, opened the door to let Smila in. She was sitting there in that chair and staring and uh, I arranged there to sit with my rifle from yeah, eight o'clock but uh, the pig was here and uh, earlier than expected and I can see footprints out there in the snow yeah Maybe I should put on some warm clothes and get out there. See if it comes around. I spread some apples and uh, some corn today. So maybe it will show up. Yep, yeah, here's my steps from the porch. I was just about to turn in for the night. And I should switch off uh, the garden light. And uh, this little fella stood just there. <laughs> Talk about being close to nature. Wild boar at the doorstep. It's Christmas tomorrow. And uh, I know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to sit outside with my rifle ready. Um, maybe I could get a pig for Christmas. Yeah. Hello. 
So today's uh, yeah called uh, Christmas, 24th of uh, December, and I don't celebrate Christmas, but uh, I got some uh, diced up apples and some corn for the wild boars or the pigs. I don't celebrate Christmas, but can do a bit good for the wildlife anyway. Merry Christmas to you all. 